Okay, so this demonstration is going to be about preloaders. So if we look at uh, the screen there, and we've all seen this uh, spinning uh, thing going around, we all know what, what it means. It means that the page hasn't loaded properly or is in the process of loading. So how do we actually put one of these on our websites? Well, there's two ways. There's CSS3 animations, and there's also GIF animations too. And we're going to concentrate on a GIF animated one because CSS3 animations are a very complex way of doing it, I think. And so here we are. We're in, an, in our HTML editor, and all we have here is I'm going to take this down, and all we have is our um, HTML head body, and that's about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to code ourselves. So we're going to start off with div. So we'll put some divs in and we're going to also get our image. And this image is a one that I've done myself. And it's this one called load. I'll show on the, uh, I'll put all the information of where you can get some really good GIF images for this. And there's all manner of, uh, bars and circles and all the rest of it going around and they are, they look very nice. Anyway, this is uh, what we have. And uh, if we preview that, it's over to the left hand side, but we're going to put, we're going to put a bit of style in there. So it, it goes to the center. So we put style equals, uh, we're going to put position absolute Salute. I'm going to put left 50%. So this will approximately be in the middle. And if we just go file, save that, and we'll preview that again. And now it's just over from the, the center. But on my um, screenshot program, if I press 4 for 45%, which is about right, um, it would, it would just uh, stop, freeze the program. So how do we do this then? And how do we stop it when we actually, play, the page is loaded? So it's easy enough to get the image on to your screen, but how do you actually stop that? Well, what we're gonna do is a little bit of JavaScript and it's nothing to be frightened of. It's only a few lines. So what we do is we're gonna call um, the image and we're gonna put in an ID. So we're going to put ID equals loader. So I just go in there, loader. So that's your ID. ID equals loader. And in the body, we want to going to call this in a function. So we're going to put, I'll just put in there as well, onload equals loading we're going to call this as a function loading and we're going to put these little squiggly line things and that is to call the function when the body's loading so we're going to now go to we're going to do the the best bit which is the scripting so what this does is it's going to stop once the page is loaded it's going to stop it so that's what we need and that's what you see so we're going to go script and for anyone that's not familiar with uh, javascript it can be a daunting experience but it, they are only a few lines so what we're now going to do is we're going to call a function oops a function and we're going to call that loading because that is corresponds with with get that out of the way corresponds with this here loading and the curly brackets here and in the curly brackets this is where we are going to start to code so when the page is loaded it's going to uh, stop so what we're going to do is we're going to go and try and get this id here id called loader and how we do that it's going to go document dot get 
element by ID. And we do that and then we just put in some uh, speech mark things. And we're going to call that loader because that corresponds with the ID. So, so we've grabbed that now. And now we're going to put style dot style. And then we're going to put dot display. Display. And then we're going to put equals. And then quotation marks and semicolon. I'm going to call that none. So when the page is loaded, then that is displaying the ID, which is the image, and that's called none. So we'll try, try this out. And we're going to go file, save it, and we do preview, Chrome, and now it's gone. So to test if that's really worked, all we have to do is on a, on a normal page, you would have images and all sorts of things. So it would take a while, but when it's on the um, on your normal computer, uh, it it doesn't take very long to load. So what we do when this when this will be online with images and text and all the rest of it, it, it would take more time to load. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take G out of that, and we've taken the G out of that, and that won't load. So you'll see the spinning GIF, or hopefully anyway, but you will see the spinning GIF. Save. Chrome, and there's your spinning GIF. So all you're doing is you put the function properly and that would come up none. So you won't see the GIF now. That's gone. So when you're online and when you put this in your web page, this is only one way of doing it. There's many others, there's many other ways to program this. You can do it in, in a few different languages, but I find that is quite the easiest way um, so I hope you've uh, enjoyed and I hope you've learned something. If there's any questions or comments, uh, just get back to me and uh, I'll tell you where, how to get uh, these GIF images where they, uh, they look better than what I can do. So thanks for watching and thanks for listening.